to what we call dubbing um, a plank for a reconstruction Anglo-Saxon building that we're doing and I'm basically trying to get rid of any 21st century marks um, because we try to use tools and techniques that um, we think would have been used in the day that the building would have been put up so some people say this is cheating but I think we're just trying to give a more authentic feel for the actual building that we're doing okay and what I'm uh, ending up with uh, thin slivers of wood like this which of course won't be wasted because they'll be going for the fire for our kettle to make all our tea. I'm using um, an adze which you can do this with a side axe but um, I find this really a really nice tool to use uh, and it's just a case of letting the tool do the work for you. So it's uh, beveled on one side, very sharp <laughs> You've got to uh, really be careful of your knees. I've, I haven't cut myself yet. <laughs> um, but it's just a case of, in this case, just going through and taking thin wafers of wood. There are cases where you can just really hack at it and take off huge chunks. But I'm trying to be a little bit more careful. A little bit of finesse. That's what I'm after. Um, it's quite hard to get a good ads nowadays. And it's something you've got to try for for yourself but I've seen several at, play, uh, at Wood Fair, so coming to fairs like this is really good. And it's just a case of hunting on the internet. Um, and you probably have to half it up yourself. But everybody has a favorite tool, and this is mine. <laughs> I'm very fond of this one. Unfortunately, it's not a, a reconstruction Anglo-Saxon ad, this is a ship's right, but uh, I've got a job of work to do, and so that's my little compromise. Um, I'm part of the East Sussex Archaeology and Museums Partnership, and we like to take on volunteers and trainees to um, basically introduce them to the heritage um, environment. So we've got volunteers, trainees in museums and working with us in the archaeology interpretation units, putting up things like reconstruction houses in schools, going into schools and uh, teaching them traditional British crafts, um, just facilitating, just getting the kids out in the, in the open and just uh, I call it playing, but it's learning. So.